As one walks through historic Bethlehem, we find many examples of adaptive reuse. So many of the older structures are no longer used for whatever their original purpose may have been. Churches have become apartment buildings. Large mansions are converted to use as condos, apartments, even professional offices. So while we're on the topic of adaptive reuse of historic old buildings here in historic old Bethlehem, there's no greater example of what we're talking about than this stately building behind me. Here at the busy corner of Center and East Market Street in Bethlehem stands a building which has been here since 1865, right after the end of the Civil War. And it was originally believe it or not, a single family residence. You'd have to be pretty old to remember those days. More recently, it's been a succession of funeral homes. First Ashton, now Heron. And before that, if you go back to the 1950s, Lehigh University utilized this building as a frat house. But who built the building as a single family residence? Let's find out today founder of the coal mining and distributing organization Weston Dodson and Company, Weston Dodson was born on the Luzerne County homestead April 2, 1824 and died in Bethlehem December 8, 1889. He was educated in the schools of Luzerne County. He made Bethlehem the seat of his operations in 1859, entering the anthracite coal business and conducting his dealings as Weston Dodson. Legend has it that he conducted business from a small frame office located aside the Lehigh Canal in Freemansburg. Soon, Weston and his brothers were known as Weston Dodson and Company. In 1871, they started their anthracite mining venture. The company made their reputation and their fortune by supplying coal to domestic and industrial markets. A few years afterward, the collieries in northeast Pennsylvania were opened and the future operations of the concern were as Weston Dodson and Company. Dodson installed the latest and most modern mine machinery and insisted upon the adoption of many safety appliances. Comfortable homes for his mining employees were also built and every possible effort was made to provide for the safety and comfort of the mine workers. This profitable business was passed along to a next generation of family members. Weston Dodson was described as intelligent, progressive, and as a decent man to work for. He enjoyed a well-earned reputation as a businessman of unblemished integrity and reputation. He was well-bred and practiced charity in his community. The Weston Dodson business was deeply rooted in the early development of industrial progress in eastern Pennsylvania and in the United States. So today the Dotson home serves as a funeral parlor, but here on North New Street at Walnut we see his former office building. In recent years, the Dotson building has been converted to apartments. Here in historic Bethlehem, we can be proud knowing that so many structures of historical significance have been preserved even if today's use is markedly different than what had been originally intended.